Good evening. I'm Brian Appleton, rock musicologist and part-time lecturer in media studies at a college of further education in the Newcastle under Lyme area. And I have a cat, as did Pink Floyd founder Sid Barrett. There's Sid, madcap genius, and along with myself, co-founder of Progressive Rock. Unlike Sid, I have never fed acid to my cat. Neither did, as far as I'm aware, Elvis Presley. But then, as far as I'm aware, Elvis never had a cat. Now, he did have a wife who possessed a certain feline quality. And one day, according to Priscilla, she and Elvis shared a tab of LSD. Before long, Elvis was seeing angels in the refracted light created by the Bel Air Golf Club's water sprinkler. Module two of this four-part lecture about Elvis Presley is entitled, I'm left, you're right, she's gone. Open brackets, so's Elvis, close brackets. It considers the theory that Elvis did not die on August 16th, 1977, but is alive and working for the FBI as an undercover agent. Or was, probably retired by now. Despite or perhaps because of his angelic encounter, Elvis was concerned that hard drugs were corrupting America's youth. So in 1970, he wrote to President Nixon about the matter, suggesting that he should be enrolled as a federal agent at large to help combat the problem. Elvis asked the president to contact him at a hotel where he was staying under the name John Burroughs. Remember that name, it's significant. John Burroughs. Nixon was delighted to have the king of rock and roll on his side and gave him the FBI badge pronto. So Pally became the White House that a Nixon aide began devising a musical starring Elvis, provisionally titled Get High on Life. I'd love to have seen that. Yeah, sadly it never materialised. But is it feasible that a world-famous rocker like Presley would fake his own death just to play at secret agents? Yes, I believe it is, because he was obsessed with the idea. You should have seen his sideboard, crammed full of guns, badges and police shields, apparently. So did Elvis duck out of civilian life to work on an FBI programme called Operation Fountain Pen? If so, it would explain why only hours before his death, a government helicopter was seen hovering over Elvis's home. And what of the man who bore an uncanny resemblance to Elvis, seen the following day buying an airline ticket to Buenos Aires? The name on the ticket? John Burroughs. Good night. Next on For the King's Early Years in 56 Special.